So I've been sketching a lot and I thought I might want to give this one a try. But uh, maybe in another video. But I really like the whole peacock nobility bird ish motive that I have going here. So I actually went for doing some line work so I can transfer it onto a few versions like these just to try out some colors but I may just combine this one and this one because I really like the the dark gradient that I got going here with the light feathers maybe I even do them a lot lighter and turn that into a bit of a albino peacock We'll see, I was planning on doing this with gouache because that would probably make it easier to, to do the feathers. I'm not sure with the hands though. I'm never sure with the hands. I don't even know where to put my hands when I'm... <sighs> so I printed this out. And since my light table does not like the paper that I wanted to paint this on, I kind of had to trick a little bit. As you can see, coating the backside with some graphite and then just pushing it through with a biro. And then I just went over it with, with another pencil just to make the lines a bit more clear. So let's start painting. So much tape. No, 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 stop it. Eh. Stop it. Be a good tape. Only adhere to the stuff that I want you to. <sighs> Much better. I did it like that because as you can see with the with the sketch here, I can't really do some kind of border. It's it's perfectly fitting to the format. So I kind of have to trick a little bit around by simply making an additional border with tape. That's why I used so much of it. I hope that it works. It worked with other pieces, but well, I think I should bring out the color. I should use these. I could also go for that, which is my gouache palette, my big old gouache. So that would be an option. Or I take these. Uh, decisions over decisions. Maybe I should start with these to get the basics. Then go with these for the groundwork. And with the finer details, I can actually go with the normal gouache because when I go from base colors to lower layers and then the top layers, I should be able to do that properly. We'll see. I did it again. I did it again. Because, because I am a very, very impatient person, I forgot to let the watercolor dry and now everything is bleeding. Good that I can fix it with um, gouache. Ah! All right. Now that the watercolor stage is done and I let it dry, 
sorta. We can actually go through with the background. And I'm probably going to do that in acrylic gouache. So if I manage to budge up and the background is dry, it's not going to be muddy as hell. And I'm hopefully going to be happy with it. Hopefully. This just happened because water. No, 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 no. Is oh, don't do that to me. Paint. But I'm really, really afraid to just fuck it up. Urgh. More water, more gradients, more better. Yeah. More bashing against my graphics tablet because I have no space. That's making everything a lot better. And let's hope that this paper is just not dissolving under my brush. At least not more than it already does. I hope not. I also just noticed that this is actually Pretty good complementary contrast. I'm doing the right stuff without even noticing. <laughs> but I kind of have a habit of uh, doing doing stuff without really planning and kind of doing it right because of pure intuition. It certainly has its benefits because. Uh, I don't have to think too much about that stuff. I I am a very intuitive painter. Always have been, kind of. Still not sure how to color those hands, though. I mean, do I make them more human colored, or do I want to go with the whole albino peacock coloring. I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, I could actually look up a uh, hyper realistic hands or I don't know, do some reference photos just for the coloring. So my nails are not as pretty. I mean, just. But yeah, I can try something in that direction. Yeah, already looks a lot better. Not perfect, but it's getting there. The rope looks okay. And I just noticed that there is a tiny little sliver of me not painting the right color. Maybe I can pick up still some purples here. I gotta let this rest for a bit to unwobble and warp. So I packed out the Arteza gouache for the final steps of the picture. I am still not sure how to do the fingies and hands and well, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure with the jewelry, I'm probably just going for gold. Those 
pearls are going to be a pain in the butt because I've never, never ever painted pearls, not even digitally, so this is going to be a first. With the beak of the peacock, I'm not quite sure yet if I want to keep it as light as the feathers. And the eyes are going to be a very deep, 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 deep red. And to spare you of my, um, to spare you of my color mixing process, I'm probably just going to cut that out and go directly to the painting process. So I'll see you then. So. I will probably start from the bottom to the top because I need to paint on the layers of feathers from the back, kind of. I mean, I want to go with the darks first so I can put the lights on top with a lot of white. Also, gouache. This, this tube of gouache white is hard to open up because it keeps crusting up all the damn time. Uh, well, that's, that's kind of a habit for gouache e right so that's that's one one of the problems that i'm usually having with those also i need to f do something about the parts of the burp that are near the background since I decided to use almost the same purple as the background for the shadows, that might have been a little bit of a tiny bit of a um, mistake. Always keep in mind, take a step or two back or record it with OBS from, from a bit of a far, like here, so that you have of a smaller view overall see what you're doing that's that's actually not a bad a bad advice and i i think i'm not the first to to say something like that so yeah always always take a step back with whatever you're doing i think that's that's the advice of the day That's, that's the nice randomness of paint. You usually rarely know what, what you're getting out of the brush sometimes if you don't mix up your paints evenly. I mean, you, you can kind of still see a lot of white back there. Who knows when it will actually happen on the picture. And... That's what I often do. Ah. Ah. All right. I have decided on the beak. I am probably going for a very, very faint light yellow. So this is probably going to be my shading color and I'm just going over it with some white. And we'll see how this is going to work out. I just want this to be incredibly pastel -y, So I'll probably just go for the, the light yellow if my brush lets me. So this is probably going to be my, my shady color and the rest is then going to be even more white-ish. Well, those eyes look kind of okay. Let's put in some some blues because I kind of realized when looking up some references that 
albino peacocks actually don't have red eyes even though i really like when uh really like the the red albino eyes when albinos happen it's just this this kind of otherworldly eye color even though it's also connected to a very bad case of hypersensitivity to light yes that's that's what it is actually looks pretty cool i might need to do something about the problem with the values right on top of here because the the, the head pretty much vanishes into the background which is a problem the beak also doesn't look as bad as i'm thinking right now usually when when you're working with gouache and the color is changing I'm, I usually have my, my, oh my god, the color is not working out the way I want it to. But here it's actually the exact opposite when I'm putting the whole thing on. The color is not the way I want it to, and then when I'm uh, having the whole thing dried, it's, it's, it's kind of start to work out. So that's, that's neat. I'm still kind of unsure about the hands, though. The hands are going to be the big, 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 big problem. So, after painting those fingies, I might need to do something about the head. Also, the beak is way, 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 way too saturated. Oh, goodness. So much I need to fix. So much I need to fix. Maybe I also just, uh, maybe instead of just doing something with the head, I, I do something with the background instead. I mean, that's why I painted it in acrylic wash. I, I am I am not sure anymore. Maybe I do something about the part around the eyes. That's it's 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 not really how I want it to look. There's something missing. I'll have to figure that out. Probably. Definitely. Maybe. Well, let's see if I can actually fix the beak here because that's that's just way way too yellow way too saturated and way too yellow so probably we'll have to mix in a ton of white to make that work so let's see if i can do that by just putting on a nice coat of white and and that well, beige that i mixed up here would be nice if that would already fix my problem of yellow bigoritas. Already a lot better. Might might need to put in a little a little to much more white. Still a lot of white right there. I can actually already something about that right there. Oh already looks better so i also have to think about this already being darker when dry That's, i i i usually don't think about that and then i see it and i'm just like no so when this is dry it might actually make the whole thing a lot easier because then I can just put the shadows on top. We will 
Let's see. So, what do I do? Do I darken down the background or do I uh, do, do something with the heads? I'm actually inclined to darken down the background. Because I put way too much work into the head already and I have no idea how I can save that. I still need to do something about the eyes though. I, I really don't like how the eyes look right now. What this past Feldy did not know is that she is going to make a very big change in this picture. I managed to just put some darks here. I might be able to use the... Uh... Shades to get some brighter lights in here. That's just a theory that my mind is making up in the hopes of fixing this. Why? That doesn't look too bad. Maybe I can save this. Maybe we can save this tragedy. Ugh. Probably not, but I can try. So, for some reason, this peacock is turning out to become... Hmm... Maybe it is a peacock no more. Let me quickly think. I just put this. Which would actually also fix the problem I have right here. Oh! this is working out the only problem that i'm having right here is the pencil is kind of showing through which i will need to fix somehow i think i need to make make the paint thicker already i think that is actually covering it up ah Yeah, as an artist, you have to kind of think on your feet. Or in this case, you have to think on your brush to solve problems. So if you know what the name of this bird is, because I'm currently a bit too lazy to look it up. As in what species of bird this is. Put it into the comments. <laughs> or what kind of bird it has turned into i think that's a bit more accurate also i will probably need to cover up these little fans because now that it isn't a peacock anymore little fans are not appropriate and to be fair it's still the the motive itself still works out it's just not a peacock anymore and i don't mind I still love the the colors on the throat. They 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 really I I really like that. So when it's done, you'll probably be as surprised as I am. Which again seems to be a common theme with my artwork. I usually am more surprised than you are. This is working. I can I can still see the pencil line down here, but if I cover it up a few more times, it should work. Also, that up there, I still need to cover again. Let's try that when it's dry again. So, I hope I will manage to actually finish this picture in this session because I been recording i don't know four or five sessions by now and i start to get a little bit frustrated <laughs> i mean the last session i had to make drastic changes as you can see um and as you have seen a few minutes before probably and i'm also kind of figuring out how to do the pearls because the pearls are still kind of 
still kind of sketchy. They, they look already nice-ish, but they look not the way I want them. And I've pulled up some references on one of my monitors somewhere. Um, so I'm going to try to do the pearls and the jewelry and probably going to go for gold here. Maybe put on some nice nail polish on those fingers. And I still don't know how to call that um, bird. But, well, it, it, it kind of works better. And I'm also probably gonna try to finish up the whole thing. Colored pencils. So, that's what we're going to do in this session. I hope I'm not going to get too frustrated with it. I'm really not sure about those pearls. I'm, I'm, I'm so close. I'm so close to just ripping this whole thing apart just because I'm so frustrated right now. Which is not good. <laughs> because I can't just get past the ugly stage of the painting. And the ugly stage of the painting is the most frustrating thing that an artist could ever come across. <sighs> I think I can't save this one. Not like this. No. 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 I mean, I can try, but this is, uh, this is just... They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine. <sighs> Maybe I do. Just a little bit. It's it's just that when I'm doing a painting, I'm some uh, at some point I'm at the stage of kind of hate this, but I want it finished because else it's going to mock me until I actually finish it or crumble it up and throw it away. And I want to try to finish it. At least I want to try. Okay, let's go for the last resort. The last way to actually, maybe, hopefully, save this. Colored pencils. looks a little bit better I would say it's not perfect but it looks better so I hope you liked the video I hope you kind of like the artwork I'm, I'm still not convinced but it's better <laughs> it's definitely better after doing the whole colored pencils thing I hope I'll see you in the next video and bye bye.